Hello! Today we're going to be describing distributions. We're going to use SOXI. You've heard me say that in class before. Let's just remember what each letter represents. S is for shape, O is for outlier, C is for center, S is for spread, and C is for context. And so today we're going to be doing that first S, which is shape. We have 17 numbers, and let's give some context to these numbers. Uh, let's say that you work for Cheetos, and you want to test to make sure that they're filling their bags to the specifications. So you want to make sure that there's as many Cheetos as you say, that they say there are in those bags. So you take a random sample, and you open one bag, and there's 15 Cheetos. Open another, there's 13 Cheetos. Open another bag, there's 16 Cheetos, so on and so forth. Ooh, look at this, 38. I love Cheetos, I would totally want to get that bag. Um, so you want to describe their shape. And if we look below here, we're going to see that we've been working with three different types of shapes. The first one is symmetric or that mound shape. And when we have a symmetric shape, the mean and median are at this balance point. They're right in the center. They're both at that same point, located at that same point, which means that the mean and the median are equal. If it's left skew, our tail is pointed to the left, and our mean is going to be less than our median. This represents that the mean is getting pulled by any outliers down by the tail, so it chases that tail, it goes where that tail is. The median stays more towards the center of the data, and so we see that the median is going to be down over near the higher numbers. So in left skew, the mean is less than the median. In right skew, we see that the tail is pointed to the right. The mean chases that tail because it cannot resist those outliers. And the median is going to be towards more towards the center of the data, hence making it right skew. The mean is greater than the median. So in order to determine the shape of our distribution, we are going to have to find the mean and the median. Now I gave you a nice pink sheet that told you how to enter data and also told you how to run a one variable statistics on your graphing calculator. And I would like you to pause this video right now and enter your data so that you can find the mean and median using those one variable statistics. After you're done, you may unpause it and we can get back to determining the shape of our Cheetos distribution. Okay, I hope you are back. So you should have found that our mean was 17.17 Cheetos. Let's round to that second decimal place. And I know the whole 0.17 Cheetos, but we can always measure them. Um, our median is going to be 16 Cheetos. So the middle number cheetah of Cheetos that we'll get in the bag is 16, so that's right in the middle of the data, that's that middle. The average amount that we would get if we added all, up, all of the Cheetos up in the bag and divided by how many bags we had was 17.17. So if we were to sketch this out, not even graph it out, the median is going to be lower than our median, so let's mean so let's write this out, median, and 17.17, this is our mean. So let's look, our median is down towards the lower numbers, and our mean is up towards the higher numbers, so it looks something like this. So I'm thinking this is going to have a slight right skew because our mean is greater than our median. So our mean, which is 17.17, mean of 17.17, is greater than our median of 16. Therefore, we have a slight right skew. And the reason I say slight right skew is because we only have a total of 17 bags. That was our N. And I'm wondering if we got another random sample of bags, maybe even more, like 34, what that would look like. I wonder if it would be more symmetric. So slight right skew, because our mean of 17.17 is greater than our median of 16. So it's tending our tail is going to be going more towards the right. So if we slight right skew, because 
mean is greater than the median. And when you do write this out, I would like you to also include your numbers. I need to see that the 17.17 is greater than the 16. Include your labels, include your pictures. Um, I need to see everything here. So you're demonstrating that you can communicate it to me, you can visually represent it to me, and you can statistically show me those numbers. I hope this helped. Good luck. Next we'll be doing outliers.